this is my channel, so Lily Bells. I'm recording a video today to do a pattern review of the Waffle Patterns of War jumper jacket. I wanted to make a new raincoat because I've had this one for probably about 12 years now. It's just a pack -a mat it folds up into itself, but it's no longer waterproof. The fabric is degraded and all of the taping inside is coming away so all the seams leak. So I decided that I wanted another jacket very similar to this because I can just fold it up and stuff it in a bag and it's very good for going out walking and things like that. And then I found Waffle Patterns Aver. You can see that? So this is very similar to my original jacket. I like the kangaroo pocket and I like the zip and I like the really big hood and the ties on the side. So I thought this would be perfect um, to make myself a new waterproof jacket for spring and summer showers and autumn and things like that. So it's, it's unlined, it's just going to be waterproof fabric, really easy to carry about. This pattern is designed not for waterproof fabrics, it's designed for mid um, light to mid-weight wovens, sh shirt, jacket, fabrics, cotton twill, light denim, fleece, canvas and garbadine. So I am going away from the fabric list that they've suggested. Um, so I did make some allowances with my sizing to make sure that it fitted properly and would be suitable. So this pattern comes in sizes 34 to 50. So the bust measurement is, it, so size 34 is 31.5 inches and then size 50 is 45.6 inches. So my bust measurement is between um, 32 and 33, it does fluctuate a little bit. So that would put me at a size 36. But as I wanted this to be quite a big jacket, I wanted to be able to put jumpers underneath, and I wanted to be able to take off in quite easily, and I am making it out of a fabric that really not supposed to use, I sized up, and I sized up by two sizes, so I went up to a size 40 in order to just make it more wearable. Here's my jacket, I'll put it on in a moment, but I'll just show you some of the construction. There we go, I've got the kangaroo pocket on the front, and it has a zip. It's quite a big pocket, and the design is such that you can fit quite a bit into it. It's got velcro on the sleeves, I've got the spring push toggles for around the hood and the it has a zip that goes to sort of mid length and then I've got the toggles that go around the sort of hip area to pull tight. It was I would say it's an intermediate make. The instructions are amazing. The instructions are so detailed it holds your hands all the way through but there are a lot of them. It's not something that you could just go, oh, I'll just, I'll just put that together. You have to sit down, read them, and go through them step by step. But they are amazing. They're the most detailed instructions I've ever seen. And diagrams, lots and lots of diagrams to hold your hand all the way through. And there's techniques in there that I've never used before that were all very good. So as this is a waterproof jacket, I had to waterproof the seams. So I did a seam, just a normal seam, and then I did a top stitch, and then I cut off um, some of the excess seam allowance. And then I ironed on, so really you can see. This is a waterproof tape, and you iron it on top of your seams, and that, um, I suppose blocks the holes where your needle's gone through to make it fully waterproof. I had trouble. It was a mare. It really was. I had trouble getting the temperature right. Um, so you have to be able to melt the tape to the fabric, but not melt the fabric. And it was it was really hard. So the fabric you can heat to a medium iron. 
the tape I would say needs a little bit more than that medium so I did have a few problems and I ended up scorching some of my fabric trying to get it to adhere. So that is one option to do is to use the waterproof tape and adhere it on and that's what my old waterproof coat has. The other option is that you can get some um, for tents it's like a glue you put it on the seam of your tent in order to waterproof your tent. So both these products I found on one of the Tilly and the Buttons blog because she has the Eden coat and she talks through all of the extra things that you'll need and how to sell a waterproof coat. So I found links on her blog to Amazon where they had both of these products. So I bought both of them and because my old one had the tape I decided to try the tape first and all of it I did tape on and I would say maybe about 80% of it has adhered correctly and the other 20% is a bit So I'm going to wear it, see how I get on and if it's just not holding I'm going to go and use the glue and waterproof the seams with um, the glue. Either way I think it's going to be fine. I'll leave the tape on where it's good and I'll take the tape off where it's not good and I'll end up with a waterproof jacket at the end of it. But at the moment it is waterproof and it's all good. The fabric, it doesn't feel, it feels like waterproof fabric but you can touch it and go is that truly going to be waterproof? And I ran it under the tap because I wanted to test and it was, it is, it is very waterproof um, which is what you expect but the feel of it feels like it might not be that waterproof but it is. So I got the fabric, this one from Flamingo Fabrics um, it's 6 99 for half a meter. So in the pattern it gives you the meterage that you need. So it was 2.3 meters plus the extra uh, meterage for the kangaroo pocket. So the kangaroo pocket for my size was another 25 centimeters. So not much. So I bought three meters and I have lots left over um, in which to make a few other things. One of my friends wants a shower cap, so I'm going to make her a very funky flamingo shower cap um, out of some of the excess and then I'll probably have some more to do bags and things from. Um, I do want to make this again, uh, but I want to make it with a zip that goes all the way down and undoes, just to make it a bit easier to get on and off. This one's fine, it's oversized, I can get up and down, but it's still it's a bit faffy to get it on and off, so I want to make another one which has a zip and I think the pattern will be very easy to change um, just to extend the facings down and uh, put a zip all the way down. I've chosen the fabric, again it comes from Flamingo Fabrics. Overall I really love the pattern, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, it looks a great finish, I love the hardware that I've put on, it's just plastic ones that I got from eBay and I think it's just going to be really useful and something that I'm going to wear all the time. I'm going to put it on now and give you a little twirl. So this is my jacket. I've got the kangaroo pocket with the zip. It's a very large pocket. It's got my phone and the keys and everything in there. And then the zip comes and starts here. It has a zip flap. It comes up really high. And then I have my hood. And this is the bit that I love about this pattern. It is the size of the hood and the way that it's all enclosed around my neck so that the wind and the rain can't get in. It's a three part hood which gives it the size and it's fully lined with the self fabric. So I've got my toggles here. I've got my little end caps on the end of my elastic. And then the plastic toggles. So I can tighten this up, keep the rain out. So it's two parts at the lower back and then you go across the top. I'll just take this down. Sorry, mad anorak hair. So it has velcro on the sleeves to tighten up to stop the rain getting in or you can put snaps on if you wish. It has ties on the side so I have the elastic on the side and then I've just bought some little toggles from eBay 
that you press in to tighten it up. I quite like that when I'm walking. I like to have it tightened. So overall, I'm really pleased with it. I can see myself wearing it a lot and getting good use out of it. Wear it open. And because of the facing, you don't see the underside of the fabric, which is white. And I managed, complete fluke, didn't plan this, didn't cut it that way. I managed to get some amazing pattern matching for my little flamingo there. I was so chuffed when I was sewing it together and I suddenly saw it, I was like, <laughs> so I'm really pleased with that. Sorry, itchy nose. And that's it. If you can't tell, I'm really happy. <laughs> I think the pattern's great. The fabric's really good. The, the tape and the glue, I'm just going to have to wait and see how that all works out. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty good for just going for a walk and if I suddenly get caught in the rain be great. Do my little twirl. It's a bit like um Naboo 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 from the Mighty Boosh. I'm gonna turn my back on you. And let that be a lesson to you. Only Mighty Boosh fans will get that. So I'm sorry if you're not a fan. <laughs> it's good. Go watch it. <laughs>